Good evening, I'm Paul Adler. First at five, check out this picture right here. That large oak tree fell on a downtown Springfield home late last night. Somehow, nobody got hurt. Nick Kelly joins us live near Clay and Division with a look at why this happened and what you need to know if you have a big tree in your yard. Nick. Good evening, Paul. Last night and early this morning, we had nothing but quiet weather. However, that's exactly when a tree fell on this home behind me here on Clay Avenue. And you can see the crews have worked up on cleaning things up quite a bit. However, normally we would think active weather could bring a large tree like that down. However, experts say that was not the case this time. People driving along Clay Avenue Friday couldn't help but notice what happened to this home. A large oak tree crashing onto the front porch and roof of the living room. An independent contractor told KY3 the family inside was not hurt. Speaking with a neighbor and the local tree expert, it seemed pretty obvious what the problem was. Whenever a tree is left standing dead, it's the roll of the dice. You know, they will start to deteriorate and decay and they might let go during a heavy storm event. However, arborist Noel Boyer says dead trees can also topple when the weather's calm. The fallen tree shows no leaves in the limbs, hollow branches, and its trunk hollowed out as well. We find a lot of times that people aren't able to take care of a hazardous tree for financial reasons. That uh, Doing proper tree work is expensive, like everything else is, and, and it's a dangerous job. While Boyer says insurance companies will decide who's at fault in situations like this, he encourages homeowners to be proactive. If you see a concerning tree on your neighbor's property, let them know so an arborist can be contacted for inspection. If it's on your property, look for reputable companies from word of mouth and online reviews with arborists on staff. Plus, make sure they're covered. Make sure that you verify that they have uh, general liability and workman's comp insurance, that is pretty much an indicator of a legitimate tree care company that they carry all the necessary insurances to protect you, but also to protect their own workers. Experts say it's not to put off any um, wanted tree activities like this. If any of your trees look dead, save up as much as you can for a reserve, compare quotes with multiple reputable companies, and don't be afraid to ask if there's financing or any financial assistance available to help you out. Live in Springfield this evening, Nick Kelly, KY3 News. Thank you, Nick. Uh